Hey guys, Jeremy here with Simple Little Life. Welcome to another edition of Tool Time Tuesday. So the tool that we're gonna be talking about this week, it's actually an app for your iPhone, and it's called iEngineer. Now, I'm not sure, I haven't heard a lot of people talking about this app, maybe you guys all have it, and I'm just like preaching to the choir here, but this app is something that I use on a daily basis. It has a lot of excellent information about threads. Uh, not necessarily so much screws, like wood screws and stuff like that, but for threads that you're tapping, like bolts and nuts, you know, like your 1024s and all that kind of stuff. It's got drill information in there, and it's also got really great uh, fractional conversion, so you can convert from you know, fractions to decimals to metric, and it's all right there, very nicely designed, and a very, very quick way to, to boom, gather up information. The one particular thing I like about this app is that really we always have our phones with us, and if you've got this on you, it's so much simpler than Googling something. If you just know exactly the information, okay, what's a, what's a 360, 360 force in a, in a decimal? Well, you can just boom, you can find it right away on your phone. Uh, but on that topic, if you're just getting into making, um, knife making, doesn't really matter what it is, there's a couple of books that I would say are probably some of the most important tools you could actually purchase. Uh, this is the very first one I bought. This is the Pocket Reference, and this is actually quite a famous book. I mean, a lot of people know about this book. There's a lot of different versions. Even like Maxpedition does their own. Where they've got a little bit more like bug out prepper type information with knots and first aid stuff. Uh, I've had this one, I do believe, for over I've had this one for over 20 years, so I'm not sure this is the second edition. I don't even know which edition they're at right now. Still works great for me. Obviously, I keep a, a little bookmark in here with the tap diameter, uh, bolt torque specs, all that information. But there's everything in here from battery characteristics, different types of batteries, all your elements, um, periodic table of elements, and, and all, all kinds of stuff, wiring codes. Now, in addition to this, I've purchased recently, probably about four years ago, maybe three years ago, is the Handyman in Your Pocket. And this one is put out, this year is a Levi. Valley edition. I think you can get all of these on Amazon and from other retailers as well. This has a lot of great stuff, especially for woodworking, different types of glues and the, the, the strength of glues, the strength of plywood, um, all kinds of stuff. If you're building anything and you really want to know, okay, what does this size need to be to support this load? I'm telling you, you can find it between these books. Absolutely wonderful to have. And they've got lots of different versions too. They've even got one for your car that I have in my vehicle. Really great information there as well. But that's not necessarily what this video is about. This is about the eye engineer. So let's check it out real quick. Okay, I think I've got this set up so there's no, uh, it's actually harder than I thought it would be to film an iPhone, but anyways, if we go ahead and open up the application here, uh, what I start with is this bottom row here. So you've got this a US screws, metric screws, a drill chart, and then a fraction chart. So this US screws is obviously all imperial screws, uh, metric is for metric screws, and each one of them kind of brings its own subsection up. And then we've got the drill chart here. Uh, this is exactly what I was talking about, and this is all just actual twist drills. So 11 sixteenths is also in the decibel form, it would be that one. So say if I want to know what's between between a number 15 and a number uh, 16 and 15, you know, you've got your number drills. You, uh, between 15 and 16, you can do a 4.5 millimeter, and that's gonna be right dead bang in between, and that will give you the dimensional, the fractional dimension as well. Really, really handy. And then there's also the fractional chart. So. Uh, this one's kind of similar, except this one is specific to drill sizes. The only thing in here is actual drill sizes, whereas the fraction chart has a lot more uh, general stuff. Here you can see we've got 1 16th is 1.5875 uh, millimeters, or it is 0 0.0625 inches. So as you can see, a lot of really good information right here. And then here's where there's a lot of stuff as well. So say if you wanted to do a 1024, so we're in the US screws here, 10 pitch 24, the head. So it'll show you, okay, the advised torque is 16.5 foot pounds. Now, now, there's also this right here, which is which grade. So say if you've got a grade five, all of a sudden I'll give you the uh, advised torque for that, the lubricated torque, the clamping force, tensile strength, yield strength, proof of load. And if we swipe this little bit over here, it'll kind of show you the information about the thread itself. So the major diameter is 1.90 or 0.19 inches. The minor diameter, so the very bottom, the value of the threads is 0.1389 inches. And then it also gives you the tap fit size. So if you wanted a 50% tap, 50% uh, on your threads, you're gonna drill a number 20. If you want a 75, you're gonna drill a number 25. And uh, you know, this is actually quite interesting stuff when you start looking into the different percentages and, and the, the benefits to going tighter. It's amazing how little strength you actually gain by going significantly. Like if you take a 75% fit uh, tap, a thread to hold at 75%, and uh, you compare that to a, 
uh, 100%, there's only a 5% increase in strength uh, as far as that, that tap hole and that fastener. So it's, it's kind of interesting. And then here at the bottom, we've got a tight fit. So if you want to put this uh, through hole, a tight fit would be a number nine drill bit. And that will give you uh, one point, it'll basically give you six thousandths of an inch. A normal fit, what they consider normal by, I guess, engineering standards, is a number seven bit. So it's a 0 0.201 uh, inches of a hole. And that's kind of what you drill. If you want a, a 1024, you want a normal fit hole for it to go through, that's kind of what you would drill. So it's really cool that you have all this information. And it gives you everything up to all these different grades, different ANSI, all kinds of different engineering information. What would it be if it was brass? So if this was a brass screw, okay, your advised torque is only nine inch pounds. You go to a nylon, it's 2.9. And then, you know, grade one, 16. And so it's really, really cool. You can tell, like, there's just so much information. And even, like, all the real common stuff, you know, so you've got a 3 8 16, and just let's go with a grade five. That's a pretty good bolt, right? So it gives you all the information, your torque your torque values, if you're gonna do a lubricated torque on it, uh, the clamping force, tensile strength. Then it also gives you the allowable shear forces. So Say if you've just got two plates joined together, it'll show you at the threads, you've got 5,579 pounds of shear force. And at the shoulders, you've got 7,952 pounds of allowable shear force. Now, if you're doing a sandwich design, so you've got two plates and then another plate, obviously you've got uh, more surface area contacting. So your shear forces are higher, significantly higher, like they double. And it gives you that. Now, one really cool thing about this as well, and I don't know if this is available on the standard or if you have to buy the metric, but if I wanna know what this is, if I'm using these imperial fasteners but I want to know what this this value is the shear force in in metric I just press that and I'll tell you what it is so that is really really cool and then over here uh, it kind of shows you the markings so if you want to know if you've got a grade five you always find that one two three those markings on there it'll show you the tensile area um, the different types of heads and it's got 3d renderings for a lot of these now one thing that's kind of cool about this is say if you need some 1024 screws and your wife is in town like for me I mean we live out of town and uh, you know if my wife's going to town she's she's doing some shopping so if I want a 1024 screw with a say if I want one of these little oval heads uh, I can just go ahead and screenshot this and I can send that to my wife and all this information will be there she can just go to the guy at the hardware store and be like hey do you have these and they're like oh yeah they're right over here and so this part of it is really 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 cool. Now they don't have these uh, 3D renderings for all the different fasteners, but they do have them for quite a few. And then even the cap dimensions. So say if you're doing something, you wanted to recess this cap and, and based on standard engineering, uh, what would this be? So the diameter is 0.312, the height is 0.19 inches, and you need a 532nd socket wrench to tighten that up. Really, I think just by this quick look at this, you can see how this is so incredibly valuable. And again, we got our metric screws here. So it depends what, you know, M6 by say, uh, you know, I used to use M8s all the time. Uh, M8s by, were they 125? I think. Uh, but anyways, they've got this stuff here as well. And then again, you know, uh, if we want the US for the head dimensions, or obviously we're probably gonna want metric because we're working with metric. So you can switch between, uh, this just toggles which uh, currency, which, which uh, unit of measurement you're using for uh, this area here. And then also you can check out, so if you've got a tool, you're using a Phillips, you'd use a number four drive. If you're using a slot, well, it doesn't give you that, but anyways, it is such a cool, such a cool, let's check out this one here real quick. Uh, button head, uh, tool not available, come on, you kidding me? Maybe we need to go a little smaller. And so here we'll see this sometimes. The dimensions for this head are not available. So not everything is in here. Uh, it's not fully, fully in depth, but they've got a 3D rendering of it anyways. This would have been nice, but then again, an M1.8 with a 0.35 pitch. Not sure how often you'd use that, but anyways, I think you can kind of get the picture here that this is a really, really cool app. Uh, there's a little bit of stuff. They've got some definitions in here, which is actually quite useful. If you're, if you're not sure, if you're, if you're looking at this stuff and you're like, well, what does this mean? You can figure it all right here. They include the dimensions, which are definitions, sorry, which is actually really, really handy. And, uh, my goodness, I, uh, Oh, okay, so you can also choose the different grades and materials that you would like or not like to have um, to, to show up in the app. But this has been super, super handy for all kinds of stuff in the shop. If you've never heard about this, it's very, very well worth checking out. Well guys, I hope you find this information useful. If you hadn't heard about iEngineer before, that's basically what I'd wanted to do with this video, is just kind of share with you this app. I use it all the time, absolutely love it. And then like I said, it's free, unless you need the metric stuff, go ahead, uh, you know, get the metric stuff, but it's 279, I went ahead and purchased it, it's not that much. Always, always referring back to this, and I absolutely love having it in my pocket. Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers. Cheers.